all right people welcome back to another video all right guys so today i just have a few things to show you guys there have been a lot of issues with this system right since it came out but not mainly with the system it's mainly with the games right so with some of the games well, let me get this started while i'm talking about it main thing is this xbox app right with game pass the game pass app is kind of too much a lot of bugs and there's a lot of bugs plus with some of the games they don't start or you got to mess around with the system software and stuff like that but it's, it's kind of tedious man and some of the best games like forza so it's well polished and like the graphics and everything is so good playing on this system but it's a hit or miss sometimes when you're trying to play it but once you start playing then it's good it'll play smooth frame rate is good and everything but for it to load up bro sometimes it doesn't even load up it's crash like let's see if it's going to crash now while i'm doing this so it might load up it might not load up it's a hit or miss sometimes so you just gotta we just gotta wait and hope and pray it went through but when it do goes through and it's playing at launch properly then it's good because it's one of the best games for the system right now i really recommend 10 out of 10 if you're trying to download a game and you have game pass you should have this game on your system for the aces to play because it's well optimized for game pass and for the system only thing is the launcher is slowing it down which is the game pass app which is the xbox app you see while i'm talking it's still living it's still not even load up yet look i'm still waiting so it's a hit or miss sometimes and once it's up it's up and running next thing is this ea app while i'm still waiting for forza to load this ea app does not work it's broken i think i've seen i google some fixes and i tried a couple of them but it doesn't work man some of them don't work and for the regular guy regular person they're not gonna be able to do that you got to be a tech savvy person you got to get into the exe do run as administration and do some a lot of stuff to get these games to run sometimes so that's the biggest issue with this right now with this windows with the windows gaming platform it's not even just with the asus so i got a couple games see look forza did not load it see what i'm talking about hit and miss but when it do work it works man see it's it crash the one game i know that works great is call of duty when i just downloaded it it wasn't working it wasn't loading but once i this is a fix that you guys could use let's go to you just hold down on it like that and then you hit run as an administrator right all right for some reason it's not showing up now but how i got it to work before i had two downloaded two modern warfare download warzone one for bottlenet and one for steam right there was two on my my screen at one point but the one for bottlenet wasn't working the one for steam wasn't opening differences steam wasn't opening and bottlenet it opened but this stick wasn't working let me turn on my why my lights not on man but this this stick right here wasn't working in bottlenet i'm not sure why i think it was maybe because of the settings because when i looked online afterwards people were saying you got to set it to right settings and stuff like that but i did not see anything like that to change it for it to work but once i go to here i'll well, click on the bottom that run it as admin and then i chose the game then it opened for steam i'm not sure how that worked but it worked so you just gotta do that and try and get it to run it run it as admin and then steam will start working but that still up to this day doesn't work because of this stick right here i don't know what was going on with that man and it was driving me nuts it took me a while for me to even get it to open on steam but after that once i did that it works perfectly fine with steam man so that's the only game that i could say there's no real issue so let me try and open forza again as i said forza is one of the best games for the system right now which is out all the ea games does not work as i said before no matter what i do they do not work i try all the fix i see online and they're still not opening still not opening 
Forza, hit and miss, as I said. Just gotta get it up and running. Once it's up and running, then you're good. Sometimes mid game it might crash and stuff like that, but it's it's not likely. It will always happen. But yeah, so I mean, Forza is as I said, it's a great game. But what's holding it back is the Xbox app. That's what's holding it back. At one point, I also got Redfall downloaded. Redfall was an ambitious game. Came out, but. As I said, it died within the first week because it wasn't cutting it. It wasn't cutting it, man. It wasn't cutting it. And then I tried that as well. That wasn't working properly as well. And what I said is I try, it wasn't working right. So maybe I just got to get some more uh, info on that for it to work properly. But I'm not even really interested in that game anymore like that. FIFA does not work, as I'm saying. Anything that works with EA, it's not opening. But if you guys know any fix for me, guys, just hit me up. Drop a comment down below, let me know the best thing to do so I can get EA to open and Battlefield. Battlefield, as that's an EA game as well, it's not opening. Some games, Battle.net works fine, but Warzone, still not working. And as we're waiting right here, still, Forza is still not opened yet. Let's just give it a little bit more time and see what's going on. There you go, it's up. As I said, once you get it running, up and running, it's good, man. It's great, actually. While I'm here, let me just show you guys the settings and stuff I have for it. And uh, stuff like that. But they need to put out these games developers, I don't know if it's, the, or maybe it's the app, the launchers that need to fix these stuff. But they need to, oh, Call of Duty is opening too. But it doesn't work when I open it with card. I don't know why. As I said before, it's a stick. I don't know, know exactly why. All right, so back to Forza. Forza run great. Once it's open, it runs great, man. I set my settings right now. I'm plugged in. So I got, got it a top performance. I mean, a 60. Let me change that to 120 real quick. But as I said, Without being plugged in, it's still good. It's the most, this is one of the only games I could say it's well polished when it comes to um, Xbox Game Pass or Xbox. Without, if you put it to performance, 1080p and then 60, this game is running smooth as hell. I'm telling you, still, and the graphics is still good. But I have it at 120 because I'm plugged in. I wish I could go to 4K as well, but <laughs> that's just a dream. Let's go to graphics. It's on medium already, right? Then I got 1080p and then 60. Let me try. Well, I can't. I've got to change that this one. First, let me show you guys on 60 frames per second first and then. I switched to 120 years in the game, right? So let me turn on one turn thing so you guys can see. Oh, I'm still getting 120, even though I got it in 16 here. So let's stick with my original settings, which is this. Make sure everything got saved, nothing changed, right? Yeah, all right. All right. All right, so now let's get into it now. 108 frames per second in medium. If you go to high, no. I do not recommend that. Yeah, get me from me when it's plugged in. <laughs> Alright, guys, that took a while. I guess every time you change the settings, you gotta do the optimizing thing, alright? So, you already, I already showed you guys the settings already. Let me choose where I'm going. Gotta wait till Haley finished talking. 
as you can see 84 frames right now and let's just go over here See smooth 120 hertz. Again, oh, it's not. It's still limited. It's at 61 frames right now. I mean, it's still smooth. Oh, oh, relax, relax. But this is how I've been playing it for the whole time, though, and it's been great. I was just trying something new to see if it would actually work at that. But it goes up to like 90 frames sometimes too. See, I'm, I keep looking at the game. I'm trying, I'm trying to drive, man. Well, this game is well optimized. Well optimized for the system. That's all I could say. And I put my camera on 60 frames per second, so you should be able to see it better. All right. See, I'm at, I was at 80 something frames just now. 64, 69, 72. See, it goes up and up. But yeah, because I got we got it on medium, so that's why it's not hitting that 120. Even though in here I got it at 120, so might as well you could just put it back to 60. But then it might not push it over that 60. So it's up to you, whatever you want to do. If you're on battery, I suggest you just put it, go to game center and put it to 60 and just play like that. Cause 60 frames per second is still not bad. That's still good enough. That's still still good enough, man. And yeah, that's it. That's the best settings for Forza. Even though it took forever, took forever to open, man. Shit, crazy. Three, four times before it opens. Sometimes it's a hit or miss. But it's not because of the game. It's because of the app, the launch app, the Game Pass app, Xbox. Yeah, I gotta fix that. Come on, I gotta fix that, man. Man, give us a better experience, man. It's crazy. Well, yeah, guys. So thanks for tuning in. As I always say before. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, drop a comment down below. If you see anything that could make this any better, guys, just let me know in the comment section down below. And subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. And also, remember to always say, guys, health is wealth. Peace and love. I'm out.